Pontiac Bonneville 1982-1986. The Bonneville nameplate didn't go anywhere following the discontinuation of full-sized Pontiacs and instead was simply swapped onto the mid-sized Le Mans, which also suffered from poor sales. Thus GM planners reasoned that attaching a more well-known model name to it would spark demand. This model had been produced since 1978 along with its siblings the Chevrolet Malibu, Oldsmobile Cutlass, and Buick Century, and sported a Buick 231 Sid V6, Chevrolet 305 Sid V8, or Oldsmobile 350 Sid Diesel V8. A Buick 4.1 liter V6 was available in 1982. The 1982-1986 models were officially known as the Pontiac Bonneville Model G, built on the GMG platform, although later models were not badged as such. Styling was revised to bear a closer resemblance to the departed B-body Bonneville and coupes were dropped. GM also began marketing the Bonneville in Canada for the first time starting in 1984. 1982 and 1983 Canadian models carried the Grand Le Mans name as GM's full-size Bonnevilles in Canada were referred to as Parisienne. While the previous Le Mans, on which the new Bonneville was based, was classified as an A-body, introduction of GM's new front-wheel drive A-bodies, for example Pontiac 6000, in 1982 prompted the change to Model G on these RWD cars. 1983 was the last year for the G-body station wagon as the Pontiac 6000's wagon replaced it. The Bonneville sedan continued in base, limited edition, la, and Bruin versions through 1986. The 1982-1986 Bonnevilles are a direct descendants of the 1964 Pontiac Tempest. These 1982-1986 Bonnevilles were the smallest and the last of the old breed of Bonnevilles, having rear-wheel drive, full perimeter frame, body-on frame, and old-fashioned American car ride and styling. Some Pontiac customers did not take to the downsized Bonneville as a portion of new car buyers were switching their preferences from compact and mid-sized cars back to full-sized, V8-powered cars thanks to improving gasoline prices. Late in the 1983 model year, Pontiac reintroduced a full-sized car to the American market by bringing over the Canadian-built Pontiac Parisienne which was essentially a restyled Chevrolet Caprice and powered by Chevrolet V6 or V8 engines. The Bonneville was then again one notch below the top of the line from late 1983 through 1986. However, exactly as before, a downsizing proved its salvation. In 1987, the Parisienne was discontinued and the Bonneville was completely redesigned as a front-wheel drive car rejoining its pre-1982 platform mates, the Buick Le Sabre and Oldsmobile Delta 88 and it regained its status as the senior Pontiac. 